That afternoon, the family attended a meeting for the German and Swiss members of the church. To Alexander's great delight, there was no organist. This delight was not shared by church leaders, however, who, after learning that Alexander could play, wondered how he could effectively read the music, since he only spoke German. <laughs> after much persuasion and assurance from Christian, they reluctantly allowed the 11-year-old to play. Soon he was appointed organist for the 26th Ward, as well as the German Swiss branch. Now, the Shriners soon obtained a used piano, and Alexander began lessons. This luxury brought disapproval from some of their friends and acquaintances and even church leaders, who thought the money would have been better spent on necessities the family lacked, for example, curtains. Alexander quickly discovered that organ recitals were played daily in the tabernacle on Temple Square by three men whose jobs he considered heaven appointed. He took every available opportunity to walk to town and attend these recitals and was captivated by the noble sounds which came from that large four-manual instrument. <laughs> 